Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Abel and I out this time and it's a stunning day for once. So we're going to be walking way up into the mountains to camp in the freezing cold in our little tent. We've managed to keep our pack weights pretty reasonable for this trip. So mine's totaling at about 38 pounds I think, about 14 kilo. What's yours Victoria? Mine's 10 kg, I think that's 22.4 pounds. So we've cut out a lot of luxuries, but we've got some real cool new pieces of gear, which I think you'll be excited to see. So when we get up to camp, we'll get all those out and we'll show you. But it should be, should be a fun trip and a freezing trip, but we've got to make our way way up into the mountains. So we'll come back to you for a coffee further along the trail. But it should be a good one. Thanks for watching. made it up onto the tops as you can see there's quite a few deep drifts of snow about and the snow is quite icy it's packed and hard but man it's cold you can just feel this cold air radiating in big chunks of ice but I've been walking now for about two and a half hours how's it been Victoria? Been good straight uphill <laughs> straight uphill I'm but, warm. but I can tell you what man the lighter packs makes a huge difference. So we're feeling pretty good. We're gonna stop off at the lake, make ourselves a nice drip coffee. And then we're gonna decide where we're gonna camp, but it's amazing conditions up here. Just looking up at the mountains, it looks beautiful. Really nice to be out on a day like this. We're just sitting down here at the lake. It's absolutely incredibly beautiful. I think it's 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 stunning. I'll just put some shots up on the screen so you guys can enjoy it. But we're just down here having this epic drip coffee. Picked them up from the gear shop. They're a tasty little treat. This it's one's so a, easy to make as well. Yeah, it's really convenient. It's a single origin Kenyan coffee. So I haven't tasted this particular roast yet, but should be nice and I'll give my thoughts on it. But we're just gonna sit here brew with the ultimate view and then head on to camp. <laughs> This is the most incredible walk. We climbed up high up onto this ridge. It's about 1,500 meters or so. Quite a bit of snow and it's just perfect stunning conditions. Absolutely amazing to be up amongst the mountains when it's like this. But the sun's gonna be down soon and we're still not at camp so we've got another 20 minutes or so then we'll quickly set up the tent. We'll come back to you for that, but this has just been an incredible hike in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up for this. See you back when we're setting up the tent. All right, we've made it into camp. If you've watched our channel before, you would know that this is a spot that we've been to a few times. But it's absolutely freezing cold right now. The whole lake is just thick ice and there's snow all over the ground and the sun's gone down. So we're going to get the tent up real quick and then put all our warm clothes on. And then we're going to have some biscuits, teas, soup and treats. Get a little fire going. Sounds good. But get on with the tent. It's absolutely awesome to be here.
The base is booked. Right, I'm freezing. Got to get everything into the tent now. New bit of kit. Big Agnes repeat tent floor. So this Big Agnes tent floor is um, a 4.2 R value. And we brought it all the way up here, but it's actually pretty good because it only weighs 1.3 kilos. So if you're splitting that between two people, it's not that heavy. Victoria actually took it, but I took all the food and other stuff. But <laughs> this thing should be pretty cozy and warm. Picked it up from the gear shop. So this is the first night testing it. This. I'm real excited about it. It's gonna be an awesome pad, I reckon. I'm gonna put these little heat patches on the bottom of my Njinji toe socks. I'm just gonna stick these on the bottom of my feet and then pop these nice big thick 0.6 socks back over top of them and those little pads are gonna start to warm my feet up inside of my boots. Oh, what's the temperature? Negative 0.2 and it's dropping. Just took my thermometer out. It's freezing cold, man. It's gonna be a very still, crisp night. Got my uh, digestive McVitie's dark chocolate biscuits. We're gonna have those with the uh, caramelized pear tea. It's gonna be rather delicious. It's it's dropped to negative one degrees, and it's gonna keep dropping probably to negative four tonight. So it's gonna be a really good test of our gear. But man, it's cool to be out on a camp like this. These winter conditions. It's so beautiful, and it's actually so nice that it's not raining. Yeah. For once. <laughs> oh man, it's cold. Oh my goodness, that's nice on my fingers. <laughs> yeah, the Bell Pear Tea, that's what we're having, is a delicious kind of black tea and flu Influced. <laughs> infused with flavour. <laughs> There's a slight breeze coming through and it's just making it ten times colder. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> well, this chair cover's making such a big difference. Hmm. But anyway, a, a way, another way that we kept our weight down on this trip is we have titanium cups. So these only weigh, I think they're about 70 grams. And our other ones were like 180. <laughs> so it's quite a considerable saving. These tokes, 650 mil. They're a nice size too. Yeah, you can fit a they're gas really canister nice into them. And you can also, you could cook with it if you had a little um, canister stove. And I've got a little lid so I can keep my tea warm if I want to. <laughs> you want a, a biscuit? Yes, please. Those oh, little, yeah. um, there you go. Thank you. Foot warmers are making a big difference to my feet. Yeah, it's just the little items of gear that really help you out. I have some autoimmune issues on my feet to just start to freeze when I stop moving. So I've found if I can keep them warm as soon as they arrive, Makes a big difference. Man, these are good biscuits. It's done. <laughs> Just 
the gas is so cold it's not working properly on the lighter. Whoa! It's a bit reckless. This stuff's really dry because it's like little beachings that have been up in this little alpine environment getting sun and wind all day. So you can hear like, has a good crack to it. So you can see the stuff's just going up real easy compared to the other fires that I make deep in the forest that's all rotten and wet. Gonna get a cup of soup on. This fire is an absolute lifesaver. It's completely invigorated the campsite. <laughs> and it's because there's not much wind, you can just feel the heat radiating from it. Very, very nice. And the wood's so dry, so it just burns, which is very nice for a change. Yeah, so having a Thai pumpkin instant soup. And in we got titanium cups. In my titanium cup. <laughs> in with my, my titanium spoon. Yeah, we got these tokes. Thai pumpkin soup. Um, <laughs> tokes titanium cutlery set. I'll show you, they're really nice because they've got, you can see here, it's got a smooth end to the spoon. So when you eat it, you're not getting that like coarse titanium on your palate. So mm. we've got fork and knife. It's like a full little set. Spoon, and yeah. There's a little carabiner that ties them all together. But seeing as we've only got things in packets today. Yeah, we just bought the spoon. <laughs> we just bought the spoon. But what I'll do is I'll I'll link in the description all the gear for this trip and I'll put you through um, to where you can purchase it. But this stuff's kind of like game changing, you know, just the little things. It all adds up, even, yeah. you know, Saving 50 weight. grams here and there, then across all your gear it makes a big difference. Mm. Got our Dehi Feast rehydrating. I'll pass these over to Victoria so she can harness the warmth from them. <laughs> Put one inside yourself. And you can have that one too. But it's a bit different for us to be having Dehi. <laughs> we haven't done it recently. I love Dehi now. <laughs> like this. Yeah, Victoria's I'm got so all of them inside her down. <laughs> Make sure they don't rupture. <laughs> That's my dinner. <laughs> I'm so toasty now. <laughs> but Why don't should... we do this more often? I've got... It's great. The old viewers of the channel, they would know what I used to do with my D highs to make them taste better. Some Lewis Road Creamery butter and some sriracha. So I'll add that to the feast just to give it a, <laughs> a bit more flavour, you know? You didn't bring your chilli flake. Nah, but the sriracha's good. Fine needs a bit of oxygen. Man, that's putting out a lot of heat. There's a huge core of embers in there. I think it's dinner time. Victoria, retrieve the dehys. I don't want to take them out. <laughs> It's so nice and warm. So what I'm going to do is into this this rice. I'm just going to add heaps of butter and just let it melt through. So there's little tips and tricks that you can do to make your dehydrate taste nicer. Adding some butter or coconut fat gives a bit more calories to the meals as well. To be honest, it's not a burger, you know, a juicy, fresh burger, but 
you know, it's rather good. Smell that. I'll have a little taste. Pretty good. That's nice, eh? That's quite good. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Dehire. Might revert to a dehire. That's spicy. It's got lots of veggies and rice and seeds and... Oh man, look at this melted... herbs. This melted butter. I'll have to get it right down in there. Okay, I'm going to show everybody watching, if I can open my bag, what this looks like. But that's chicken curry. I um, mean, it tastes like a chicken curry. It's pretty fragrant. I'm hold it open. And you can tear the top of these bags off so you can get easy access to the innards. <laughs> right, here we go. Get a bit of sriracha sauce in there too. I really like Tabasco as well. Don't have any at home. Now I'm gonna show you guys again. I mean, this is not. That's not exactly bad food. I mean, <laughs> Tony from AB Camping was being mean. He said, "Freeze-dried food's gross, and I'm gonna hate it." Well, so far I'm not hating it. I'm really enjoying this. This is very, very tasty. I enjoyed not breaking my back. <laughs> walking into this my massive... My feet and my knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. We have a chocolate cake pudding. Rich, moist chocolate pudding in smooth, creamy chocolate sauce. This is a delicacy. <laughs> um, we're gonna have this, it's very rich and tasty, and it's pretty freezing cold, so we're gonna get into bed after that, I think. But we'll show you guys the chocolate pudding, we'll indulge in that, and then we'll go on for the tent tour. And that's gonna be great, because we've got that massive mat. So it's gonna be quite quite a cool experience, I think. I'm really excited for it. Yeah, it's always good getting in the hillaboo as well. But we'll get some water boiling, I think it's only 100 ml, and we'll get this rehydrating, and we'll show you the pudding. We have rehydrated the chocolate pudding and we are going to consume it. We'll just rip the top off it. I haven't had one of these I think since back to our big Nelson Lakes trip where I had one on the last night. <laughs> I ate it under the stars of gentle rain falling on the tent by myself. I was Body. fast asleep. Body was aching but man it was nice. Okay, give them a close up. You ought to see this. There's like chunks. Chunks of cake. Chunks of chocolate cake inside. That's actually delicious. Thank okay. you. There's like little crispy bits of brownie in it too, mm. amongst the sauce. I also Very have a block. Nice. I've got a block of chocolate too, which I might eat Dude. once I'm in the tent. You just spilled that all over your keto. I know, the fire maple. It's got brown stuff on it. <laughs> Brownie on it. Anyway, guys, this has been a fantastic camp. And I hope you've enjoyed us coming out in the fine weather and seeing a bit of a different camping style. <laughs> I've definitely enjoyed this. It's been a great camp so far. Yeah, I agree. It was such a beautiful walk in. Mm. Seeing all the snow sparkling and yeah. just being dry for once is nice. <laughs> Not stressing <laughs> about a storm coming in to get us. But I think we'll finish off this pudding and I think we'll retreat, do a tent tour, maybe have a cup of tea while we're in bed. Mm. And just do some stargazing because I don't need to worry about water getting me. So <laughs> we'll do that and we'll see you back in the tent. Just put the temperature probe outside the tent and within like five seconds it's dropped down to negative 1.7. I'll leave it out there. Might leave it out overnight and see what it drops to. It's forecast for negative four degrees. I'm gonna get into the tent now. 
Okay, everybody, we're inside the tent, <laughs> and it's extremely cozy in here. We have our massive 950 loft, negative 18 comfort rating quilts, and we've um, opened... I need it tonight. It's, so yeah, it's, it's pretty chilly. It's, I'll check the temperature probe later, but probably going to drop to negative 4. You reckon? Yeah. But, I mean, we should be totally fine with these quilts. And I can already feel already the Rapide pad is extremely warm. I think it's warmer than the Zoom. It's, it's super comfy having it across the whole tent floor yeah. as well. There's no, look, well, there's no gap. It's just the entire tent floor is comfy pad. And, um, yeah, I think this one's 4.2 I value. And I think it's warmer. So, it's filled with Primaloft insulation instead of foil. So it does make it a little bit heavier, but I think it's warmer. I reckon it's worth it. I already like it. Yeah, for camps like this, when it's not like, mm. you know, I cut out a few things, but I bring something big of it. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the tent. Very, very cozy. The fire's kind of dying down over there. And yeah, we'll probably turn the lights off soon and we can look up at the stars, but this is real cool. Yeah. <laughs> this pad's amazing. You reckon? Yeah, I love it. Anyway, guys, I think... We can report back on the pad yeah. tomorrow morning once we've actually slept on it. Yeah, I, was, I can already tell it's going to be so cozy. <laughs> Man, I'm loving is, these heat pads on my feet. Yeah, this is a great They're tent. amazing too. This is a really, really nice tent. I always get all fizzy when I'm in this tent. <laughs> Something about it, you know? It's just... Well, that was your dream table. <laughs> <laughs> it's built different. <laughs> The construction, just all the little vents and zips and everything. But yeah, I think we're just gonna probably pack down, look at the stars and head to bed. But I don't think we have anything else to say tonight. But we'll report back in the morning about the pad and everything else. Sounds good. And how we slept, but I think that's enough from us. Good night, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow. morning everybody had a pretty good sleep the tent floor pad was very warm and it was quite comfortable not having the the gap in the middle of the tent and extra headroom up at the top so you can just like move your arms around it was very nice it made a huge difference i reckon how much of a difference i don't know if i even woke up through or not yeah victoria sleeps like a log when we're out here she, i sometimes i'm like is she dead and i have to like <laughs> Prod it, prod it to make sure she's not <laughs> dead. But you can see behind me, look at this, the sunrise coming up through the tent and you can see over the icy tarn, it's an incredible place to wake up. Mm. But we're going to get a coffee on, um, one of the filters, probably not a Makona today, oh, yeah, hi. one of those ones. And we'll get lots of nice shots of the sun coming up here because it's just incredible. Dropped down to negative three and a half degrees tonight. You can see my cloth is fully frozen. Nice warm cup of Kenyan brewed in the mountains. Brew with the ultimate tent view. The sun's coming up and it's just like red across the hills. And you just see the ice on the lake. The tarn, well, the tarn. The tarn's fully frozen. And my fingers are frozen. But there's a slight breeze which is just very, very cold. But other than that, this is very nice. Beautiful morning. I told you I'd bring you up here, Victoria. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. Just looking out at the sunrise, it's amazing. Hmm. I'm gonna smash the ice when I get up with a rock. <laughs> That's always fun.
Well, everybody, I've got a little fire going, but there's quite a bit of wind coming through the campsite, so it's not really ideal for a fire. But we've got the sun coming up directly over the tarn, the frozen tarn, right at us. So it's a pretty special spot. It's been a great morning, had coffee and just been looking around, enjoying the ambience. But there is a nice, well, it's not so nice, pretty cold breeze coming through, so it's not <laughs> ideal. What do we do now, Victoria? Have a coffee? Yeah, I think have another coffee, then we'll have breakfast. Oh, we could have a cup of tea. Oh yeah, tea and biscuits would be nice. But yeah, overall, this tent is a beast. The pad and our quilts performed excellently, so super happy with the setup and with the campsite. Let's get a bit more wood on here. Stomp. So hopefully this wind dies down just a little bit. Is there any gas in here? Use this one. Yeah, it's the Fire cool. Maple Blade 2. It's working well in the freezing temps. The kettle with the heat exchanger as well traps in a lot of that heat and stops. Stops like, you know, wind right. getting in so much. So that's real good as well. My water's partially frozen. Look at this fire jumping around. Right, do you want a cup of tea or coffee? Massive cup of tea. Mm -hmm. See, so, the wind's died down a little bit now, and it's quite nice. The fire's actually putting out a heap of heat. But sitting here is like being in the set of like the most amazing movie. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> this campsite's unreal. Just the view out to the sun, the ice, the mountains. The sun hitting your face first thing on a cold morning is just so yeah. glorious. That's good, eh? We get this massive pot of tea on, and then we'll have breakfast. <laughs> Damn it. Time to pack down the tent. We've just been chilling here for like an hour. The fire's kind of died down. We're going to get this packed up, head up over the mountains and back around to the main lake. We're going to I have, we have some breakfast over there. Yeah, we have breakfast, have yeah. some more coffee, and then just yeah, enjoy the mountains. But it's been awesome camping here, and we'll check back in soon when we've got the tent down and we're hiking up over the hills for breakfast. Sounds good. We'll come back soon. So what we've done is pretty much retrace our footsteps from the hiking yesterday to get right back around to the lake. So it's taken, I don't know, an hour or so. Been really nice walking, but we're gonna- Absolutely glorious. Yeah, but what we're gonna do, we're stopping down at the lake, have our coffee and breakfast. We'll show you some of the beautiful scenic views of the lake again.
So I've just cooked up a nice bowl of porridge and now I'm going to add in some radix vanilla protein powder and I've also put in some linseeds and some hemp seeds in there for some good omega-3s. So I'm just going to pour all of that in. And stir it up. So everyone, that was the trip. We're just sitting down by the lake, having the coffee and eating our breakfast. Well, it's probably more like lunch now, but very nice, very nice camp overall. Hope you guys enjoyed the beautiful scenery and seeing a different style of camping. If you did and you're still watching, thank you. We appreciate everyone who takes their time to watch the videos and comments and thumbs up and everything. So thanks guys and we'll be seeing you soon in another video. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time and have a good week.